Fisheries and Oceans Canada presents The Gully Marine Protected Area, a diversity of life and a sanctuary for whales. In the North Atlantic Ocean on the east coast of North America, 200 kilometers off Nova Scotia, 45 kilometers east of Sable Island, on the edge of the Scotian Shelf, the seafloor suddenly drops away. More than 3,000 meters deep, this is more than 30 times the height of the McKay Bridge in Nova Scotia's Halifax Harbor. The largest submarine canyon on the east coast of North America is 40 kilometers long and is up to 16 kilometers wide. It is known as the Gully. The Gully is a spectacular canyon, highly productive with a diversity of habitats and is home to fascinating and mysterious marine life like the spiny lobster larvae, amphipod shrimp, Deep Sea Isopod Shrimp Deep Sea Benthic Octopus Dumbo Octopus Pollock and Redfish Orange Ruffy The gully contains the highest known diversity of coral in Atlantic Canada, with more than 30 species of coral that have been identified, such as soft coral, Gorgonian octocoral and paramercia. Black coral, here with northern krill. Sea corn. Bubblegum coral. Gorgonian octocoral, here with epizootic anemones. Stony cup coral. Sea cucumbers with sponge. Deep sea file clams and stocked crinoid. In May 2004, the gully became the first marine protected area to be established in Eastern Canada. Many species of wildlife use the gully, including the Northern Fulmar, the Wilson Storm Petrel, the Greater Shearwater, the Great Black-backed Gull, and the Dove Key. Visitors include the Leatherback Turtle, the Swordfish, the Blue Shark, the Greenland Shark, and the Poor Beagle Shark. Many marine mammals are attracted to the gully because of the abundant food supply. Marine mammals in the gully include gray seals, humpback whales, sperm whales, minke whales, common dolphins, and pilot whales. Some marine mammals are found in the gully seasonally, only stopping by during their annual migrations. Blue whales visit the gully during summer months. Blue whales can be up to 30 meters long. 
and can weigh up to 180 tons. They are the largest animal known to have ever existed on Earth. Blue whales can live for more than 80 years. They can be identified using their spotted coloration. They feed on krill. Krill are very small shrimp-like crustaceans. These whales can eat more than four tons of krill a day. Blue whales are extremely rare due to whaling in the past. More than 1,500 were killed in eastern Canada during the whaling period. For this reason, blue whales are endangered. One of the least known groups of marine mammals are beaked whales. Some beaked whales are found in the North Atlantic Ocean, living in deep offshore waters. Sour bees and northern bottlenose whales are two of the five beaked whale species that occur in Atlantic Canada. The gully is an important habitat for these beaked whales. Sour bees beaked whales. Sour bees can be five to six meters long. Males have exposed teeth in the lower jaw and teeth are present but not erupted in females. Sour bees feed on deep water fish and squid. Due to the unknown impacts of noise, Sour bees are of special concern. The gully is home to northern bottlenose whales throughout the year. Northern bottlenose whales can be between six to nine meters long. Bottlenose whales are among the deepest diving whales in the world frequently diving to depths of more than 1,000 meters. While at the ocean surface, northern bottlenose whales produce interesting sounds. While underwater, northern bottlenose whales make clicking sounds to locate their prey, known as gonadus, or the armhook squid. Northern bottlenose whales are social animals. They have a distinct bulbous forehead, also known as a melon. And they have a prominent beak. Adult males develop a flat, squared off forehead. while females and immature males have a smoother, rounded forehead. Mm -hmm. 
Scientists can study their behavior while they are at the surface. When resting, their behavior is known as logging. Other behaviors at the surface include lobtailing. Headbutting, spy hopping, and breaching. Dalhousie University scientists have created a photographic catalog to identify individual northern bottlenose whales. These scientists estimate the size of this population to be around 160 individuals. The gully is part of the critical habitat of northern bottlenose whales and provides prey for the whales and allows them to socialize, mate and raise their young. In the 1960s, whalers commented on northern bottlenose whales' curiosity. Because they often approach vessels, they were easier to catch. When a northern bottlenose whale was harpooned, its companions would not leave it. More than 85 individuals were caught from the small population during the whaling period. Northern bottlenose whales are endangered. Beaked whales are threatened by intense underwater sounds, fishing gear entanglement, ship strikes, petroleum development and contaminants. The gully is the most protected habitat for beaked whales in Canada. Hal Whitehead, a professor and whale biologist at Dalhousie University, believes that the gully is a real jewel in Canada's ocean crown. As a marine protected area under the Oceans Act, there will finally be some insurance that neither current nor future industrial development will harm the gully and the whales that call the gully home. To learn more about the gully, visit www.mar.dfo-mpo.gc.ca backslash gully hyphen MPA. Produced and edited by Catalina Gomez Salazar. Co produced by Derek Fenton and Hilary Moores Murphy. Video courtesy of Hilary Moores Murphy, Christy O'Brien, Hal Whitehead, The Whitehead Lab, Fisheries and Oceans Canada. Underwater video courtesy of Marina Milligan. Photography courtesy of Joanna Augusto, Dave Fifield, Catalina Gomez Salazar, Marina Milligan, Hilary Moores Murphy, Christy O'Brien, Tanya Wimmer, and Sarah Wong. The Whitehead Lab, Canadian Shark Research Lab at Bedford Institute of Oceanography, Fisheries and Oceans Canada. Animations by NASA and Fisheries and Oceans Canada. Music courtesy of the Modern Men from the album The Sensual Sounds of. Noah Tai from the album The Devil and You. And compositions by Mauricio Garcia de la Torre. Narration by Jamie Lynn Butt.